Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bike. Today I'm going to share with you some e-bike maintenance tips and some e-bike tips that are going to make your e-bike a better bike to ride every day just the way we do. If you're installing or have installed a rear hub motor conversion kit on your bike, you'll find that these motors are workhorses that will last a long time and are relatively maintenance free. However, here are some tips to ensure a great problem free ride every time you ride. The first is your spokes. Do this before your very first ride and check every couple of months. Your hub motor spokes are shorter than a normal bike due to the size of the motor relative to the size of the wheel. You'll also notice that the spokes are about twice the thickness of a regular bike spokes to help protect that amount of power on your drivetrain. Check every spoke by touch on each side of the wheel to make sure that they all have the same amount of tension. If one feels loose, you should have a spoke tool that's available at any bike shop or online. I mark the correct width for my spokes with a piece of white tape so that I can quickly find the opening that tightens my wheel. A couple of clockwise turns should be enough to do the trick. When the motors leave the factory, there's a lot of tension on the spokes. And in order to help break in the wheel, apply a good bike grease lubricant to each spoke where it attaches to the rim. Make sure to really push the grease in so that it goes inside the inner wall of the rim. You'd only have to do this about twice a year. It reduces the metal to metal noises and helps lubricate your spokes. When done lubricating the spokes, make sure to apply a Teflon lubricant to your cassette, your rear gears, chain and rear derailleur. An often overlooked maintenance tip on e-bikes is tire pressure. The bike is overall heavier and therefore is absorbing more pressure on each ride. It makes it even more important to constantly check by touch, which is enough, whether your tires are inflated. Get a good pump that you can work with both Presta and Schrader valves. Those are the two standard valves used in inner tubes. Whether you ride road or off-road, your cassette will pick up a lot of dirt that impacts the chain's ability to move freely and efficiently. Take a small rag and clean through the gears to remove the dirt. Pay close attention to the gears you use most frequently. Really scrub that rag in between and get all that dirt out of there. Two final often overlooked tips on e-bikes is to make sure that your chain rings, which are your front gears, and your disc brake screws remain tight. E-bikes have a lot more vibration and pressure applied to them due to the weight and the speed of the bike. Over time, they can loosen screws on these very important parts of your bike. Make sure to check these every couple of months just to ensure a safe ride. Follow these tips and your hub motor will last you a very long time. Have a great ride.